Hi, everyone. So I've been thinking a lot about teaching, especially for the summer and for the fall, when it looks like more and more universities, schools in general, are going to be online. So what does this mean, right, for, for our students, for ourselves? In particular, I'm thinking about our students who may have trouble hearing us, right, or understanding what we're saying, especially if they come from another language background. Right now, right, there can be some choppiness in the Zoom video, for instance, but you can read my lips, you can see my expressions, you have a general idea of what I'm talking about. Now let's test something out. If I have to wear a mask, let's say I'm in a shared space, what is it gonna be like? Okay, so now I definitely look different, right? I'll try to pull this down, try to adjust it properly on my nose. Okay, so I'm now gonna read something. I'm gonna read a couple knock-knock jokes and see if it makes sense to you and if it's better with the mask or without the mask. Knock-knock, who's there? Catch up, catch up who? Catch up with me and I'll tell you. Knock-knock, who's there? Kiwi, Kiwi who? Kiwi go to the store? Okay, now let's try a couple without. All right, now if I tell you a knock-knock joke, and I did think about reading an academic text and thought about it and tried it. And I think that the jokes are the way to go. Gets the point across, I think, just as well, but hopefully in a sillier way. Funner way? Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce in. We're freezing. Knock, knock. Who's there? Olive. Olive who? Olive right next door to you. All right, folks. So. Let's think about when we are teaching online to slow down as much as possible, especially for wearing a mask and to enunciate, just be patient with each other. Let me know if you have other ideas also or if other people are doing research or have data on this to help support and include all of our students in learning. Thanks.